Genetic Testing Scams. Hello, my name is B. Friedman, and I am a volunteer educator for the Pennsylvania Senior Medicare Patrol, the PASMP. The PASMP is part of the National SMP program. Let me tell you a bit about CARI and the PASMP. Founded in 1977, the Center for Advocacy for the Rights and Interests of the Elderly, CARI, is a nonprofit organization that has been dedicated to improving the quality of life for older people through advocacy, education, and action. CARI operates the Senior Medicare Patrol Program in Pennsylvania. SMP's efforts are designed to empower and assist Medicare beneficiaries, their families, and caregivers to prevent, detect, and report healthcare fraud, errors, and abuses through outreach, counseling, and education. There is a very high cost of healthcare fraud and abuse. Did you know that the Medicare program loses an estimated 60 to $90 billion each year to healthcare fraud, errors, and abuse? Fraud affects you by raising medical premiums and other medical costs and by decreasing your quality of care. Today, we would like to educate you about how to recognize and avoid genetic testing scams and why doing this is very important. Genetic testing scams are a growing problem for both Medicare itself and for all Medicare beneficiaries. Genetic tests are real but very expensive laboratory tests. Several of these legitimate genetic tests are now covered by Medicare because they are valuable diagnostic or treatment tools to help patients with very specific medical conditions. But scam genetic tests never help you and they waste Medicare funds. What you should know about genetic tests. Medicare does not cover genetic tests to screen for unknown issues. Medicare may cover genetic testing when a patient shows symptoms of a medical condition for which there is an FDA approved genetic test that assists with diagnosis and or treatment. Your doctor must demonstrate that the test is medically necessary, that your condition is severe, and that you intend to pursue the treatment indicated by the test's results. Genetic screening tests from unknown providers are all scams. Let's discuss why genetic testing scams can trick you. Genetic testing scams succeed in deceiving consumers because more and more people know that genetic testing exists and can be useful, so they may think they need it. However, it is only valuable when used properly by a doctor you have chosen to care for you. Genetic testing can reveal markers of hereditary health conditions well before symptoms appear. Genetic testing can also give doctors an opportunity to make an early diagnosis when patients experience chronic symptoms of other conditions. Also, there are some human genes known to interact unfavorably with certain drugs, especially some immunotherapy drugs. Genetic testing can help a healthcare team design a tailored treatment plan for a patient who needs such drugs. None of these legitimate medical purposes is served by scam genetic screening tests ordered by doctors who know nothing about you. Medicare payments for genetic testing are very large. In 2019, an audit found that Medicare payments for genetic tests had quadrupled over the payments in 2016 and totaled $1.41 billion. It is unknown what portion of these payments went to scammers. Despite the risk of being caught and prosecuted, scammers remain highly motivated to cheat the Medicare system in order to improperly collect the very large payments for genetic tests. How do the scammers do this? You may be surprised to learn that scammers do not need the test results to steal Medicare reimbursements for genetic tests. That means they don't need to process your sample to get paid. They do need a doctor and a lab already approved to accept Medicare payments, both of which are willing to sign fraudulent testing paperwork. And they need three things from you. 
your personal information, your Medicare number, and your signature. Most schemes use in-person contact to get you to give them this information. Usually tables set up at community events or in shopping plazas to collect the testing sample, a cheek swab or saliva sample, and all the information and the signature they need from you. However, many Medicare beneficiaries have also been contacted by postal mail, email, and phone, and have been sent genetic test kits to return with their samples and their personal and medical information and signature. So what can happen after you give a test sample? Out of your sight, scammers may just discard the samples without doing the tests because that would cost them money they don't need to spend. But then they submit fraudulent requisitions to Medicare for the types of genetic tests that Medicare does cover, but that were not actually needed for you and were never performed. People who have experienced this scam have reported that they never received any results. Some people received results in the mail, but were never contacted or counseled by the doctor who wrote the prescription for the unnecessary tests. And Medicare is charged thousands of dollars for each sample that the scammers claim to have analyzed. So let's distinguish between genuine and scam genetic tests. Only genetic tests ordered by a doctor you know and who is caring for you are genuine genetic tests that will produce results that you will learn about and be counseled to understand. All other genetic testing offers are scams. They are both illegal and immoral. Illegal because they steal tax money from the Medicare Trust Fund. Immoral because they steal beneficiaries' sense of well-being by promising important medical information that is never delivered. Is there anything you can do to evade genetic testing scams? Yes. The SMP has some tips for you. One, never disclose your personal or medical information to someone you don't know and who isn't part of your medical team. And two, never give strangers your signature for one of their schemes. If you follow the SMP's three-part action system for not becoming a scam victim, you can keep yourself safe from genetic testing scams and many other scams. The SMP wants all of us to take three actions to stay safe from scams. Protect, detect, report. Action number one, protect. Protect your personal, financial, and medical information, including your signature. Never give this information to anyone outside of a medical appointment with your own doctors or with laboratories or testing facilities they have referred you to use. Action number two, detect. For all of your legitimate medical services, the SMP urges you to keep a written healthcare journal or healthcare calendar of your medical services, including dates and the providers who treated you, as well as what tests or services were performed. Then when you receive your quarterly Medicare summary notices, MSNs, if you are using traditional Medicare or when you receive explanation of benefits reports, EOBs, for each billable medical service, if you are using a Medicare Advantage plan, check that the listed claims are true and accurate. Compare them to what you have written in your own records and challenge anything you don't recognize. Teaching you how to detect genetic testing scams is the goal of this presentation. We want you to be well informed enough to be able to quickly detect if someone is trying to trick you with a genetic testing scam so you can avoid it. You now know to be very skeptical of all offers for genetic testing that don't come directly from the trusted doctor who is treating you. Refuse to cooperate with a scammer who contacts you in any way, in person, by phone, by email, by postal mail, with the so-called genetic testing opportunity. The third action is report. If you suspect that a scam genetic test was offered to you or that you accepted one, call the Pennsylvania SMP and report it. Our phone number is 1-800-356-3606. 
The more that consumers are vigilant about genetic testing scams and that they report what a scammer tried to get them to do, the more the SMP can be effective in stopping the scams. Also, if a scammer managed to get your personal, medical, and or financial information, we can help you determine what steps you need to take to minimize any consequences. I'm going to give you five specific things you can do to stop genetic testing scams. One, if you get a phone call asking for your personal and medical information so someone can send you a genetic testing kit, just hang up and call the PASMP to report the call. If you get an email asking for your personal and medical information so that you can receive a genetic testing kit, do not respond to it. Instead, call the PASMP to report the email offer. We might catch a thief with that email. Three, if you receive an unexpected genetic testing kit in the mail, a kit your personal doctor did not order for you, call the PASMP for help. Again, we might catch a thief. Four, if a lab order for genetic testing appears in your snail mail from a doctor you've never seen or heard of, do not respond to it. Call the PASMP for help. Again, this could be a very good chance to catch a thief. And five, if you see a table set up somewhere to do genetic testing, don't fall for it. If possible, pick up a flyer or a business card and then walk away without giving them any personal or medical information. Then call the PASMP. These scammers could set up again in other locations nearby so we may be able to stop this scheme. Thank you for listening to this message by the Pennsylvania Senior Medicare Patrol. For more information, assistance, or to report suspected fraud, please contact Cary toll-free at 1-800-356-3606 or visit us online at www.cary.org. That's www.carie.org.